Hello and welcome to Coaching with Cody and basically this is a new series where I'm going to be coaching the seven steps and in today's uh, first video we're going to be looking at king safety so uh, you'll see below me the seven steps and the first step is king safety the most important thing that we always need to be thinking about on each move is our king safe are we, you know, going to blunder mate in one? And we're going to look at some puzzles and we're going to be looking at them from the perspective of the losing side. So as you can see below me is white to move, checkmate in one. Um, and we're looking from black's perspective. So uh, go ahead and pause and try and figure it out. And the idea here is that we want to be able to spot the danger because we most of the time we we're looking from the attacking side you know how do we checkmate and all of that stuff but you know if we can start spotting these patterns for you know from our perspective and try and avoid them i think that would be a great strategy um and it's basically one of the strategies that i used when i was coaching football uh, i would always make sure that my kids would um, learn how to defend you know how to save their goal uh, and not concede because if you're not conceding a lot of goals then you know you can have more opportunities and even if you're not great at attacking at least you won't be conceding so you can you know get away with not attacking as well uh, but you know you could be a great attacker but if you're blundering and just conceding all the time then you know it doesn't matter if you score three goals if the other team's scoring four so that's the kind of idea here um, so having a look at this position is checkmate for uh, white in one. So I'm looking at this queen. I'm looking at this bishop. Uh, and I'm also spotting that this bishop is... Uh, the king has no moves. So if we can just check. Uh, and now I'm realizing that this is a pin piece. And so this will just be checkmate. Um, so let's see. How could we avoid this situation? Well, they came in and checked us and we blocked. Uh... If we had blocked maybe with the rook, we would have given ourselves an escape. Um, so probably even in this position here. So our our uh, our pawn basically got attacked by the bishop, an undefended pawn. Uh, and instead of defending this pawn, we developed a piece, attacking a, def a defended piece. So that's just not a great move. So even in this position, I would suggest maybe we could have defended it like this. Maybe we could have defended it like that could have defended it even maybe like that let's see what the computer would have suggested uh computer suggesting just defend with one of either the queen or wow even blocking with the rook that's a that's a <laughs> that's a and this is this is a drawn position so this is drawn this is zero zero uh and and this move is just now plus about nine yeah about ten plus ten for white uh and yeah the best move is in fact to block with the rook and uh wow they don't even take they just take this because <laughs> it's obviously a fork. Wow, that's crazy. All right, let's have another look at a mate in one puzzle. And then um, we'll maybe look at a mate in two after this. Uh, basically, you can do the same sort of uh, drill at home. Uh, just go on to lead chess and uh, yeah, look at mate in one uh, puzzles. Uh, we can do different uh, difficulties as well. And then just flip the board and look from the defending side. So it is white to move here. Um let's see the king doesn't have a lot of spaces to go so the only way to checkmate would be obviously to check the king but also stop this escape and this is the only move that i can see that uh, does those two things so let's see how we could have avoided that yeah so we needed to see when they took this obviously in the first place that this is a this is attack twice right and only defended once so, I mean, pushing here might have been an idea. Moving the bishop might have been an idea. Maybe going with the rook here. Um, so, yeah, I think the computers was... Yeah, I've just pushed the pawn as the computer suggestion. But even so, you move the king is... Yeah. So, now, now you needed to realize that uh, you had severely limited your king's movement. Uh, and, and then seen that the you got to look for checks for, for from your opponent. And basically, yeah, you just blundered mate in one. And this is the kind of thing that I'm talking about, right? In this position... And in this position over here, it's it's plus one for, for white. So they don't have a huge advantage. Material's the same. Um, actually, I think we're up a pawn here. If I'm not mistaken. We're up a pawn. Yeah, two minor pieces, two rooks. Yeah, everything else is the same. So it's only plus one because... Obviously, their queen is quite well developed and they're attacking you. Um, now it's plus 12. 
and uh, after this is you blunder mate and one so this is the kind of thing we're talking about right we want to be able to see the the danger that's coming at us uh is black to move here uh wow okay so we pushed and attacked their their knights but the problem is our king has no legal moves so if we move here we're not covering this space anymore uh, so I think the pawn can just push and we're actually defending the pawn here. So yeah, that's just a checkmate. <laughs> wow. Um, yeah, so we needed to, to respond to this threat basically. Uh, they're threatening to push and, and, and check us. Um, and yeah, we're just boxing ourselves in here. Um, I mean, we also have, Hmm. I mean, how does your king get here in the first place? That's that's the question that I want to ask. Uh, maybe we could have just counterattacked like this. What's the computer saying? Yeah, computer saying that's an idea. Computer's also saying to attack. Yeah, okay. So the computer's saying that this rook needs to do some work because I at the end of the day, you know, these kind of these guys are stuck to each other, so you need to move the rook. Um, right, so that kind of gives you an idea. Uh, we can look at a mate in two now. Um, so let's have a look at... Basically, you go to, to puzzle themes. Uh, and um, yeah, the mates. We'll look at a couple of mate twos. Uh, so yeah, here we've got black to move. Um, uh, we're going to flip the board. Have a look from white's perspective. So from White's perspective, this is looking bad. We have a defender here. They have these two checks. Uh, nice thing about this check is, well, should I say the nice thing about this is we're defending that. Oh my goodness. I mean, there's even this discovery over here. Why would White move this pawn? I mean, you're just running into this. I mean, you're not even attacking anything. What is going on here? Okay, so the Maiden 2... I think so. This is a double check. So even though it's defended, now that you have this as a double check, we have to go here. Oh man. And then I suppose we. Hmm. This is a tough one. I might. Might end the video here. I don't want to make the video too long. But yeah, maybe this is homework for you. Uh, try and figure out what the mate in two for, for black is here. Because yeah, this is this is this is a tough situation. I mean, let's look at this sacrifice first of all, and then maybe this. But then they can move here. So I don't think it's that. I think we could also maybe look at this. The king goes here is the only move. Yes, yeah, so either of these two moves, the king definitely has to go in the corner. How would we checkmate in the corner? Ah, so if we go here, we're blocking the queen's access to, to the square. And then that's a checkmate. Wow. Okay, that's beautiful. Uh, now, what would be the better response? So, black moved here. That's a strange move. It doesn't look like it's It's not really defending anything. And it's, it's not really adding anything to this attack. So, I think black might have given white a bit of a... A bit of a saving you know grace here so i mean this i think is still weak because you make the same move so how do we stop what's the threat this is not the threat currently what's the threat i mean i guess i guess we could maybe go here and then we're threatening to take this are there any checks for us I mean, this this is actually this is probably the best move because you're checking and hitting the queen, so you're probably forcing the exchange here. I think so. Yeah. So king over here to make this a threat, or this is is the idea that you need to make. And actually, white has a huge advantage here. It's plus eight for white. And after moving this pawn, it's checkmate in two. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about, right? This is what I'm talking about. You need to be always on the defensive mindset because you had a great position here you had an absolutely dominating position you're plus eight and then you just blunder checkmate in two because you're not taking into account i mean what is this move honestly what is this move and i'm pretty sure this is checkmate in 
This is Checkmate 1, yeah, sorry, this is Checkmate 1 if you just push the pawn. Um, but yeah, I'm not too sure what White was thinking here. Uh, okay, well, we'll I'll, I'll leave you on this puzzle. Um, just so you got the idea, it is White to move. You're looking from Black's perspective. And uh, yeah, you want to try and see how how White is going to Checkmate you in two moves. But also, uh, instead of moving the King here, you know, what would what was your uh, better response maybe? Um, I mean, even, yeah, it looks like you're getting, you're getting into a lot of trouble. So you just try to run away. I mean, oh, this is, this is a tough one. <laughs> this is a tough one, but we'll leave it there. We'll leave it there and I'll see you on the, the next video. Hope you enjoyed.